Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So here we have Bitcoin on the daily, and as you can see guys, yesterday here, uh, this green candlestick before this red one, we made new highs. Bitcoin hit 58.46 approximately, uh, and now we're down trading around 57.15, but guys, this is great. This is a great pattern that we're seeing. After this big downturn here, we saw a little bit of struggle here, uh, and we weren't sure whether it was going to continue going down or going up, but it did go up, making new highs. And so, of course, we follow Bitcoin as it is the beat of the market. It is considered like the index, and uh, altcoins will eventually follow once we have more movement for Bitcoin, once we see Bitcoin, uh, and it will, it will make, it will break its old high of 20,000. I can, uh, well, I'm not going to say I can guarantee it because I don't control Bitcoin, but uh, I'm fairly confident that Bitcoin will break 20,000, whether it's by the end of this year or early 2020. Uh, that's my thought, at least. And I know we're looking at the price and it's uh, in the 5,000s, but guys, you know, when this thing moves, it moves fast. The next level of support that we need to break, of course, is the 6,300 mark. And I think maybe once we get past this, we'll really start to see, we'll really start to see some momentum, but, uh, but who knows? And in the news, NYSE owner is buying Bitcoin at cheap prices ahead of backed launch. So the owner of the New York Stock Exchange, Jeff Sprecher, uh, the Bitcoin bear market of 2018 was a disaster for most crypto fans, but it was a boon for the highly anticipated cryptocurrency trading platform, Backed. Uh, and we know Backed has got pushed back several times now, and uh, the release date was supposed to be in January and then in March. Uh, and we don't, we still don't have an official release date on this, but that's okay because it is coming soon. Uh, so that's the opinion of NYSE chairman Jeffrey Sprecher. The CEO of Back's parent company, Intercontinental Exchange, or ICE. Uh, Sprecher, along with Microsoft, Starbucks, and BCG, is bankrolling Backed, whose CEO is Sprecher's wife, Kelly Loeffler. Uh, so Sprecher, Bitcoin winter was good for Back. So uh, Sprecher tried to put a positive spin on the crypto winter by saying it gave Back time to build out the platform and buy up Bitcoin at relatively cheap prices. It's really been helpful that the cryptocurrency industry sort of went into what they call a winter, Sprecher said on a call with analysts. That took some of the heat off of the timetable to launch. And in a lot of ways, you know, he's calling this a happy coincidence. He's saying, you know, well, it was good that, uh, you know, 2018 saw a down market, but I have a feeling that these guys all know you know, when they see charts and they see a move up for Bitcoin like that, like we saw in 2017, it was it was fairly obvious that it was going to come crashing back down. We've seen that before. We've seen it in the stock market. When things go out of control, they're just unsustainable. And uh, we knew we were going to see a correction. And so I have a feeling that uh, these guys also knew that we were going to see a correction in 2018. And so it gave them time to sort out the backed platform, although they still haven't finished with that yet. Uh, backed, which will facilitate Bitcoin futures trading for institutional investors, electrified the crypto community in August 2018 when it announced its imminent launch. Backed will provide custody and price discovery for Bitcoin, which is regulated as a commodity by the CFTC in a way that's designed to be free from market manipulation and fraud. Uh, and so they talk about back to being delayed multiple times. They talk about how they're, uh, they were buying Bitcoin through 2018. And so it was good for them. They didn't have to buy at all time high. Although I don't feel like they would have bought at all time high anyways. Again, you know, these things are somewhat planned, somewhat coordinated. We do, I, we, we can't control the market completely. Nobody can really control the market unless they have the power to buy up all the Bitcoin and then sell all the Bitcoin. But these guys do have a lot of money. So, uh, you know, could people people high up in the Wall Street world, uh, could they have been manipulating this market uh, in 2018? It's very, very possible. You know, I'm not ruling anything out. Um, but the point is they uh, took the opportunity buying Bitcoin cheap. And now we know they have positions and we know uh, it says down here somewhere uh, that Backed will be launching some uh, time later in 2019. And still going to the point of how early on we are in this matter, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP will draw investment from over 65% of high net worth individuals by 2022. So high net worth individuals uh, will be investing in cryptocurrency full-fledged. It'll become mainstream. 2022 is what they're estimating. Uh, let me read you this. With the dichotomy of the cryptocurrency fever ensconcing investment circles and the growth of the industry beyond its retail investor base, lucrative newcomers are on the horizon. Institutional and other large-scale investors are beginning to embrace cryptocurrencies, adding impetus to the billion-dollar industry. 
in a recent survey by the Dever Group stated that high net worth individuals will be flooding the cryptocurrency market in the next three years. The survey details 68% of the poll respondents have already invested in cryptocurrencies or are looking to in the next three years. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP are the largest cryptocurrencies based on market capitalization uh, and have been highlighted as the main revenue streams according to the respondents. It should be noted that according to the survey, investors having investable assets of 1 million pounds or more qualify as high net worth individuals. So these people aren't effing around. These are real investors, people who take their investments seriously. And uh, as we can see, uh, it, it's looking as if cryptocurrency is becoming more and more favorable for these types of people. Furthermore, the survey was not limited to crypto-friendly countries alone, but aimed to gauge enthusiasm from a host of sources. The poll had over 700 respondents from countries such as the UAE, Qatar, South Africa, Spain, and Mexico. In addition to cryptocurrency hotspots like the United States, France, Germany, and the United Kingdom, uh, and Australia, among others. So guys, more and more people looking to invest in crypto, high net worth individuals, Individuals. This isn't just regular random people who heard about it off the news. The mom and pop retail investor types, these are people who invest serious money and it says a lot of them will be in by 2022. Some of them are already in right now, but doesn't it make you feel good about your cryptocurrency investment? That you hold XRP and you're holding it and I don't know what you've averaged out at. Hopefully it's under a dollar by now. And if you just sit and wait and hodl, you will see a boom, a seismic shift in your life. And so to illustrate that in a pyramid graph, this is uh, from Crypto-XRP, that's at Crypto underscore dash XRP. Now ask yourself, which am I really? And I think this is a really good visual to look at. Are you a no coiner, a scam coiner, an SHIT coiner, a trader, an alt coiner, a miner, or a hodler? Where are you in this pyramid? Uh, it really does give a very, it paints a very, very clear picture of the value associated with each of these terms and where you could see your XRP investment down the road. Anyways, that's just my opinion, but I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.